Lake Yamanakako is located next to the mystical slopes of Japan's Mount Fuji. It's the largest and second most developed of the famed Fuji Five Lakes. It's also said to be where a cryptid legend similar to Scotland's Loch Ness Monster has been whispered through generations. The elusive Mossy. My name is Kevin O'Shea, and welcome to the Supernatural Japan podcast. In each episode of this podcast, I bring you the supernatural, strange, quirky, and dark history of Japan you might not hear about anywhere else. Before we dive into this episode, we need to first talk about what a cryptid might be. Now, cryptids are animals that cryptozoologists believe may exist somewhere in the wild, but whose present existence is disputed or unsubstantiated by science. Some famous cryptids you may have heard of, of course, might be Bigfoot, the Chupacabra, the Yeti, and there are many more. Before we take a look at the potential cryptids that may be lurking within Japan, I want to first share a basic history of one of the world's most famous cryptids, the Loch Ness Monster, aka Nessie. Our story begins in the stunning and mysterious Scottish Highlands, around the pristine waters of Loch Ness. The legend of the Loch Ness Monster, often affectionately called Nessie, dates back to the early 20th century. The modern fascination with Nessie began on May 2nd, 1933, when a Scottish couple, Alex and Janny Campbell, reported seeing an enormous creature in the waters of Loch Ness. Their account gained significant attention and sparked an enduring curiosity about the monster. A few months later, in August 1933, the now famous Surgeon's Photograph was published. Taken by Colonel Robert Kenneth Wilson, it depicted what appeared to be a long-necked, dinosaur-like creature emerging from the lake. This iconic image fueled speculation and debate for decades, though it was later revealed to be a hoax involving a toy submarine. Despite hoaxes and skepticism, countless eyewitness accounts have continued to flood in over the years. The descriptions vary, but many involve a large serpentine creature with humps that occasionally surface above the water. Could there be something lurking in the depths of Loch Ness that science has yet to discover? In the decades since those early sightings, numerous expeditions have been launched in an attempt to uncover the truth about Nessie. Submarines, sonar equipment, and underwater cameras have been deployed to explore the lake's murky depths, but conclusive evidence has remained elusive. Some theories suggest that the Loch Ness Monster might be a survivor from the time of the dinosaurs, a plesiosaur, or other prehistoric creature that somehow endured in the depths of the loch. Others propose that Nessie could be a large fish, such as a sturgeon or catfish, that has grown to extraordinary proportions. The Loch Ness Monster has become a symbol of Scotland and a significant tourist attraction. Each year, thousands of visitors flock to the loch in hopes of catching a glimpse of the elusive creature. Just this year, a massive organized expedition, Search for Nessie, happened in August of 2023 from Kyoto News. An expedition this past weekend to find the legendary Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie for short, has aimed to not only uncover more secrets of the lake's natural environment, but to continue a legacy of exploration in the Scottish Highlands, and inspire a new generation of Nessie hunters. On Saturday and Sunday, the Loch Ness Centre in the village of Drumna Drocket and the Loch Ness Exploration Group undertook the largest search for Nessie in 50 years, with around 100 Surface Watch volunteers participating each day. The search also attracted over 300 online volunteers monitoring Loch Ness via livestream, aimed not only to inspire a younger generation of monster hunters, but to showcase new technology being used to explore Britain's largest body of water at about 36 kilometers long and 230 meters deep, such as hydrophones and thermal imaging drones. Believing science holds the answer to the mysteries of Nessie and its habitat, one explorer hopes that the Loch Loch Ness Exploration's deep scan and hydrophone results 
due to be published over the coming weeks, will inspire a new generation of Nessie hunters to continue the legacy of exploration, describing himself as a guardian of that history. And actually, as a Canadian, uh, I'm someone who listens to the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, public radio news on a a frequent basis. And uh, a few times over the summer, just past in August of 2023, I listened to some stories on the CBC radio show, As It Happens, where they interviewed different members of the Loch Ness Exploration Group. From what I recall, nothing was found. But... You know, I love the idea that it is creating a new generation of Nessie hunters. Is the Loch Ness Monster a real, undiscovered species, a clever hoax, or perhaps something else entirely? The mystery endures, and the legend of Nessie continues to capture our imagination. And now it's time to swing over from Scotland to Japan. While Nessie of Loch Ness is world-renowned, few outside of Japan have heard of Mossy. But its history is equally intriguing. And our tale begins on the foothills of the majestic Mount Fuji, an iconic and sacred peak that's captivated the Japanese imagination for centuries. The first recorded sightings of Mossy date back to the early 1970s. Much like Nessie, Mossy is often described as a serpentine creature with humps that emerge from the deep, dark waters of Lake Yamanaka one of the five picturesque lakes surrounding Mount Fuji. A defining moment in Mossy's history occurred in 1980, when a Japanese television network aired footage showing an unidentified creature swimming in Lake Yamanaka. This footage added a layer of authenticity to the claims, and the creature quickly became a local legend. The footage was captured in October 1980 by a Mr. Yanamaya, who was out with three others taking pictures of the lake and its surroundings when they saw a surge of water out on the otherwise calm lake. Within the surge, they reported seeing three to five meters of exposed back of something they could not identify, which was described as being rough like that of a crocodile. They were able to capture the animal on film, but the results proved to be inconclusive. Over the years, sightings of Mossy have continued to be reported, albeit sporadically. The descriptions are often consistent, portraying a creature resembling a plesiosaur or a long-necked serpent, with Mossy's length purportedly ranging from several feet to over 30 feet, depending on the account. A network of sturdy nets were set up in an attempt to catch it. However, not long after, it was discovered that the nets had been ripped apart by something large. Around the same time, some boats equipped with sonar equipment were scouring the lakes in the hopes of finding evidence of a creature, and a few of these reported back picking up large, unexplained images. Mossy is reported to being up to 30 meters in length, with a horny, bumpy back like an alligator or crocodile. Some reports have also mentioned a long dorsal fin like that of a shark. However, the majority of sightings have been simply a large, dark shapes swimming under the surface of the water, with no details visible. Sightings of the animal have dropped off in recent years. But a group in the village of Kamikushiki have been investigating the mossy phenomena since 2005. Just like the Loch Ness Monster, mossy has attracted cryptozoologists, adventurers, and curious tourists, all seeking to catch a glimpse of this enigmatic creature. However, much like Nessie, Mossy remains shrouded in mystery with no conclusive evidence of its existence. The Japanese people have embraced Mossy as a symbol of local folklore, and the legend has become an integral part of the region's culture. Visitors often flock to Lake Yamanaka hoping to spot the creature, and local businesses have capitalized on the Mossy legend to promote tourism. So, as we contemplate the intriguing tale of Mossy, the Nessie of Mount Fuji, one question remains. Could this creature, too, be an undiscovered relic from a prehistoric age, or perhaps a product of the human imagination and folklore? Lake monsters, lake serpents, there's something that different cultures around the world have. Of course, I'm a Canadian, so I think of Lake Okanagan in British Columbia, Canada, 
the legendary Ogopogo is the name of the mysterious creature which may or may not reside within that lake. You, of course, we've talked about Nessie. And now Mossy. And Mossy isn't the only potential lake creature, monster, residing in Japan. There are others as well. And maybe we'll talk about them on future episodes of the podcast. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the history of Mossy. And thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Supernatural Japan podcast. Come and join our growing community on our new Facebook page. The link is in the description. Come on over and like and follow us over there on the Facebook page. There's always a lot of extra content, lots of photos, videos, and things that add a lot more to this podcast experience. Now, you can email me with any comments, ideas, or stories at supernaturaljapan at gmail.com. Of course, follow us on Instagram at supernaturaljapan. And you can follow me, Kevin, uh, on Twitter at Mad for Maple. I'd also appreciate you helping our podcast grow by sharing us on your social media and telling like minded friends about the podcast. If you are a member of any big Japan related Facebook groups, please share our episodes there. It really helps us grow. So, hope you keep things spooky, and we'll be back very soon with another episode. <laughs>